An all-time MLS great has announced his retirement, the final original MLS club has changed their logo, and there's a new project I'm going to be a part of, so all that and more in this episode of Quickfire News. That's right, you heard it earlier and probably saw it on social media this past week, but the New England Revolution have decided it was time to ditch their original 1996 crayon badge and replace it with the new updated look. Before we take a look at their new badge, can we just have a moment of silence for the ones we have lost? Yeah, a lot of good badges right out the window. Luckily for New England supporters though, the team has kept their classic Revolution title. And it's not going anywhere. Unlike a lot of these expansion teams and rebrands we see these days, New England have not gone to the streamlined FC, SC, United City, no. They're the Revolution and that's gonna be a big part of their brand still. I've even enjoyed them calling out other teams in their promo where they utilize the tagline, not another FC, which I mean is just fantastic. The new badge itself, I'm personally a big fan of. Yes, it's a circle, but I take that over some other odd shape. And the pure essence of it just screams revolution to me. It's got pieces from the Boston Tea Party, imagery of patriotic symbols, and all around, I think they did a great job. It's unrealistic to me in the modern era for a team to keep their logo for 26 years. So I think this is a welcome change and I think they've successfully updated their original look. Next story I wanna take a look at is the retirement of MLS's all-time high school scorer, no other than the Chris Wondolowski. After San Jose's final game of the season on decision day, Wando went in front of the Earthquake supporters and announced that this was going to be his last ride. A player who was first drafted in the fourth round of the 2005 Supplemental Draft, which is the draft after the actual draft, you know, I think you could say he did pretty well to go on to make 429 professional appearances in MLS and score 171 goals in the league. Wando also had 35 appearances with the U.S. men's national team, including playing in the 2014 World Cup, which that's all I'll say about that. Maybe he's not the first player people think of when they talk about MLS, but there's no doubt he has had a huge impact on this league. The third story today is about MLS's conference realignment for the 2022 season. Currently, the league has 27 clubs, 14 of which are in the Eastern Conference and 13 in the West. But with the expansion club Charlotte FC joining the league next year, in order to make the conferences even, Nashville SC has been moved over to the West. Now at first glance, you may not see any issue in this, but when you take a step back and you realize this kind of puts Nashville in a pretty tough spot. First off, Nashville are not really in the Western part of the country. And actually the closest Western Conference opponent to Nashville is gonna be SKC, who is further to Nashville than Nashville are to five other Eastern Conference teams. Now I found this information from Ben Wright on Twitter, so shout out to him for pointing this out. The average trip in the East for Nashville was 680 miles. And now the average trip for them over in the West is gonna be about double that at about 1500 miles. Along with that, Nashville have played the last two years in the East and they've done well getting two home playoff games. It's gonna hurt them a lot having to switch up conferences all of a sudden. And plus in 2023, when St. Louis joins the league, they're gonna probably go into the West and push Nashville back to the East. So having to deal with this flip-flop of conferences along with the major change in distance traveled, Nashville really got the bad end of the stick on this one. Lastly, I just wanted to officially announce over on this channel that I'm a part of a new project over on very popular MLS content creator, Danny T Radio's channel. If you haven't already, please check out Danny's channel. His content's great and it's actually a big part of why I started my own stuff. Our new show is gonna be called The Left Shin Guard, where we'll be running through MLS previews for every week starting in 2022. We had our first pilot episode the other night for Decision Day, and you can check that out if you're interested. I'll have everything linked down below so you can easily access it. And again, it's gonna be a fun, fun time over on the Danny T Radio channel, so be sure to check it out. And that's all I got for this quick fire news. So let me know what your opinions are on some of the topics I mentioned, and I'll be sure to read them down below. Also, keep an eye out for my playoff predictions coming in the next few weeks. MLS playoffs are right around the corner and it's going to be an exciting time. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.